What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and today we've got a little bit of a different video. A video that I think has been needing to be made. I'm sh there's been some videos similar. I've seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu make one on some of what we're going to talk about, and I know there's been others, but I'm going to try and cover a lot of stuff in this one video. So, as you see, we got a lot of different cards right here, and what I'm going to be doing is discussing a couple of questions that people have. How do I tell... If my card is fake, how do I tell if my card is a reprint? And how do I tell if my card is wavy or not? So, we're going to start off with fakes. So, what is a fake? A fake or counterfeit is a card printed by someone other than a company who's been um, given permission to print the card. So, in like 2002, uh, Upper Deck printed cards for Yu-Gi-Oh! So, they printed the cards. If someone besides Upper Deck printed a card, it was fake or counterfeit. So it could look just like it, but it's still not real. So because it was not printed by a legitimate um, a legitimate company that was um, given permission to print. So we're going to start at 2002. What cards were faked? So I don't know when these started being faked, but I know that there are these fakes. So a lot of you people have seen... Um, you guys have seen these cards that look a lot like the real card. And even some of you, you know, we've seen a lot of people, they're convinced this card, dude, I'm pretty sure this card's real. Like, I, I think it's real. And these people are like, no, it's not. So we're going to show, I'm going to show, I don't have a raw Curse of Dragon. This is the fake and this is the real one. I have a PSA Curse of Dragon, but it's a lot harder to show when they're in a PSA case. So... If you look at these cards, they both look really real. They're both LB and first edition. So these look like they're both legit cards, right? So this is how you tell um, that one is fake and one is not. So this right here is the fake. So if you go, if you put them next to each other and you look right there, you see the first edition font? It's much uh, thicker and it's kind of like almost falling into the text box right there. That's not a misprint. That's just it's a little sloppier the text is different it's thicker so you can tell that from the first edition now if you switch over to the um lob-007 and s066 right there you can see that the text is a little different there as well see uh, the lob is kind of big and thin while in here it's like it's fit in there perfectly so those are a couple ways you can tell. Then the main giveaway, once I turn these cards around, you're going to be able to, whoa, that card looks way different. Just look at that. Look how orange this card is. If you guys remember, uh, this was a long time ago, Simply Unlucky opened that fake box. Well, these were the cards he was opening. He was opening a box of these red cards. So then here's the regular back. So the, I mean, the old cards that people be like, well, they're, they're darker when they're older. They are darker than like newer Yu-Gi-Oh!, but they're not this dark. They're, these are orange. They're pumpkins over here. So that is the main ways to tell is the text and the red backs. They're dead giveaways. If you see a, an orange backed card, it's fake. So these cards are incredibly made. Like they look really good. They feel a little bit different though. They feel a little cheap. So that is the way you tell between the first edition real card and the first edition fake LOB. So for the most part, I think they only did that for LOB. So I don't think there was any metal raiders or anything like that. So um, let me put this let me put this back in the sleeve because it's a real card, even though it isn't in great shape, but real card. Um, then we got our fake Curse of Dragon. So that's how you tell um, in that situation. Now let's move on to fakes in the GX era. So these fakes were may actually made by Upper Deck. I'm sure you've heard of this. Upper Deck, um, as I mentioned before, printed Yu-Gi-Oh cards legitimately. And then they, I, I don't know the complete story. I've heard it a couple times and I keep, uh, I can't remember all the details, but basically they were printing, um, they were printing cards that they weren't supposed to be printing and they were these um, Flame Wingmen. So there was a Flame Wingman, I think Aqua Neos Ultimate Rare, um, Dreadmaster, like Ultra Rare, and I think there was another ultra, there was a water dragon ultra, or is that a super rare? Whatever it was, is it wasn't an ulti. There was like six or seven of them that they were putting in these special boxes that they were selling at Walmart or Target or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Um, and then so Konami found out and sued them and now they don't print cards anymore, which stinks because their quality was really good. So let's show um, the main way to tell. It's pretty obvious um, if this is real or fake. So basically you get your, 
you get your ulti flame wingman. This is the real one. This is the fake one. Like, how do you tell? First of all, you can see a little bit of difference in the foiling. You see all those lines in there? That's always in the counterfeits, which is, I'm not sure why. They just have these, like, lines in the background right there. Like, right there. But the main giveaway, it's not even its not even hard. It's just you look at the Eye of Anubis. We got a gold Eye of Anubis here. That means it's real. And here is a silver Eye of Anubis. That's what they call it, a UDE. So, And then also, um, somebody was saying the Eye of, the, uh, the Eye of Anubis was sideways, but it, I don't see that. Yeah, or something like that. But So basically for these, you just want to look at the Eye of Anubis. And this is going to be with Flame Wingman, Aqua Neos, Water Dragon, I think Destiny Hero Dreadmaster, and there was two other ones that are they're less important. So basically, if somebody's selling a Flame Wingman, um, you need to check the stamp because the because this card is worth approximately five dollars or less. Like it's worth nothing. This card is worth you know 150, 125, something like that. So if they're selling it at a regular price, you want to make sure that it has the gold stamp because that's that means it came out of a legit box. So if you open a box of TLM, you're always going to get the gold stamp. I think it was NYC asked me. He's like, well. Um, I pulled one, so does that mean like I need to check it? And I was like, no, you don't have to check it because um, if it's out of a box, it's legit. The only the only way you could get these, they were like they were like promos, I think, in the front of the box or something like that. But it was like a fake box. It was like a not a fake box, but like a a repackaged box. It wasn't like a lost millennium box. So so yeah, if you open a real box, then or if you open a box at all, you're gonna get the real one. So nothing to worry about there if you pulled it. So. Basically, just check the Eye of Anubis for those. And then um, the actual real reason I made this video was for the reprints. So people always ask, like, how do you tell if it's a reprint? Like, like, how do you know that it's a reprint? How do you know it's not original? So I've got a few examples here. I don't have any ultras, like three separate ultras of first edition, unlimited, original, unlimited um, reprint. But I did have this, um, Thousand Eyes Restrict. So the first, the thing I'm going to say just for ultra rares is that if you look at the... Um, if you look at the ultra rare lettering, normally it's like gold. Um, but instead, let's see, let's grab this guy here real quick. Uh-oh, knock down my blue. Okay, so this Gaia, let's see. The It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but it the gold is actually gold for the Gaia. But when you get to the thousand eyes, the gold is almost like, people like to say puke, puke yellow. It's really hard to tell from this, so that's kind of why I don't like to do PSA, because there's too much shining and stuff. But I kind of wanted to show at least an example. Um, so you look for the gold to be like kind of ugly. You don't, It doesn't look nice. It looks kind of ugly, to be honest. So I showed a reprint Blackluster Soldier in one of my purchase collections. So if you're looking for the Ultra at Closer Up, then, do, then check that out. But let's go to the secrets. So here we go. First we got, these are pretty obvious. We got a uh, first edition Invader of Darkness. So this is first edition, so it's clearly not a reprint. If it says first edition in the bottom left corner that's a first edition card it's not reprinted so there's no reprints of first edition because that it's first edition so for raigeki and invader of darkness there's your first edition symbol so the real tough part for some people is the unlimited versus the reprint so we're going to start off with the secret rare let me just take these out of sleeves we got the invader of darkness okay so Invader of Darkness came out of Invasion of Chaos. This pack came out in 2004. So obviously that's an old pack that's 15 years old. But if you see here, here's the reprint of, of Invasion of Chaos. The reprint came out in 2014, 10 years newer. So it's a much newer card. You know, it's, it's not a 15 year old card, it's a five year old card. So if you just look at these, they look way different, don't they? So we got lighter. We've got brighter. The secret rare is very liney. You can see a lot of lines in it. Then we got the original darker. And then the secret rare is really dull in here. So like you see it back there and it, it just kind of, it kind of doesn't really pop like this one. And then when you look across the surfaces, the surfaces of the reprints, they just look, they don't look very good. They don't look like they're going to, they look like they're going to beat up really easily. You know what I mean? So they're super bright. The secret is pretty pronounced, but like the shine is not really there. I don't really know how to say it, but you can just see it by looking at it. Um, this, see with here, it's like the the light just kind of diffuses. It looks really nice. And then here it just kind of shines at you. So 
And then also the the main way that a lot of people have decided to do it, um, besides the fact, to me, it's just obvious. You look at this, I can just tell this is a reprint. Like the, the quality looks bad. But there's um, supposedly a surefire way. You look in the Eye of Anubis, let's see. If you see in the Eye of Anubis, let's see if we can get it. I had it for a second. If we can get the stars, there's supposedly little stars in the Eye of Anubis, which is really difficult to show. I had it for like half a second. No, I can't. Oh, there they are. See those? See those tiny little stars right there? Those are only in 2014 reprints. So if you look in there and you have little stars, then you got 2014. You got, that's definitely a 2014 reprint. That's just your confirmation. But honestly, I have seen cards that I thought were reprints and they didn't have that. See, if you look in here, there's nothing. It's just the Eye of Anubis. Um, but I, I, I have a theory. I'm not sure if this is accurate. Maybe the 2010 reprint had no stars. So it looks like a reprint, but it had, didn't have the stars. So that's kind of a theory I have. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Let's go and look at the Raigeki real quick. It's going to be the same thing. If you look at this, you can kind of see the foil. If you look at the foil, it just it's there's usually scratching on it. It's just kind of... It actually looks pretty good on this one, but there's usually some scratching on it. It's kind of you know, broken up. It's really bright. And then obviously, if you're comparing an original, original magic card, it's going to say magic card versus spell card. But they're also, they changed that in like 2003 or 2004. So that's been changed for a long time. So if they reprinted it after that, then it's still going to say spell. So much darker here compared to the reprint. And then the foil is just really, it. people almost think these, these are wavy sometimes because of how like crappy the foil is there and then here we got Raigeki the old version so that's kind of a if it's basically once you've looked at enough reprints there's no way you can mistake it for an original they just look completely different as you've seen there the the coloring and the foiling is just so much different so that's it for like a reprint um difference if you have any question I basically check the eye of Anubis um Check the coloring. What does it look like? How does it feel? If it feels slick, that's probably a reprint. So um, the last thing I was going to go into was wavy, wavy or not. So this is going to be harder to show because I don't even know if I have. Let's let me just compare this Raigeki to this. Um, oh, actually, I can do it with this. So there are there are wavy cards, which if you look at this, um, it's just a nice smooth surface, you know. There's a little bit of stuff to it. But then when, if you look at this card, you can kind of see, let's see. You can kind of see how the how the card ripples. You see, you see it going across there. It's like lines like this. That's why it's called waves or wavy. So the, the, card, the cardboard quality, people like to describe it as water damage. Um, there's been a lot of debate about which, whether it came first, whether it didn't. But it doesn't really matter. It's, it's an original print. Um, there are first edition and unlimiteds. But only in Legend of Blue Eyes. I've had questions. Are my MRD cards wavy? Are my Pharaoh Servant cards wavy? Are, you know, then they show me some card from 2015. Is this wavy? I'm like, no. There's only wavy in Legend of Blue Eyes. So, the, only the very first set. Which is, I think, part of the reason people have said it's first or whatever. Because it's only in LOB. But, I'm not going to get into that discussion. Because... I don't know. There's apparently some proof that Glossy came out at the exact same time, like supposedly, and people were saying that made it first, but I don't know. It's that the, the the debate is irrelevant, but um, just be, to being able to tell if your card's wavy is cool. It doesn't really matter that much, um, but it is cool. So reprint. It has uh, silver stars and I have Anubis. It's lighter. It's slicker it's um the foil is not very good it looks it's scratched up stuff like that um the fakes for lob bigger text really red backs and then the fakes slash counterfeits from ude have silver um eye of anubis rather than gold so that's it for the cards i think i actually have i have a few packs here that i kind of wanted to show these aren't going to make a huge difference because you're probably not going to see a lot of these packs but in terms of different lob packs we've got this is what the first edition packs looks like. So if you ever want to buy LOB and somebody tells you they have a first edition pack, if it doesn't say first edition right there, it's not first edition. So that's pretty straightforward. But if you don't know, if you're pretty new to Yu-Gi-Oh, that's first edition. 
if they have these packs, I've seen this before, they have their original Konami logo and they call them first edition. They're not actually first edition. They are the first print of Unlimited, but they are not um, the first edition because it would say first edition right here. So this is an original LB pack. Then we got a few more. I am not sure. I'm like 99% sure. We can go back and check in my master collection video. Actually, I don't know if I ever posted that. So I'm not sure. Well, we uh, I believe this is a master collection pack. So you, which is a 2000 and, 2005, I believe, was when that came out. It's it has reprints of everything. It has E N on the bottom right. So like, in here it would say L O B dash E N rather than just L O B. Um, those are reprints, but they're in 2005 rather than 2014. I think this is what the pack looks like. It has the red logo and it says English edition. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm not really sure what this is. Let me know if you know what, where these this pack art came from. So I'm not sure about that. And then these, uh, my theory is, this one is definitely a 2014 reprint because you can still get these at Walmart. So they look just like this. This looks almost the same, but this English is a little bit lower. So I'm thinking this is a 2010 reprint, which 2010 came in the Legendary Collection Binder, 2014 came in the Legendary Collection uh, Board Game Edition, which you can still sometimes find in Walmart. So the Legendary Collection Binder was 2010. So you probably saw those if you were playing in 2010. So that's it for everything, all the differences uh, I can show here. If you got anything to add, add it in the comments. I'll pin it. Um, anything like that I didn't cover because I just covered a multiple of talk, mul multitude of topics, multiple. Um, and so I was kind of trying to get through everything, but I also wanted to make a video because I know a lot of people have this question and it should help out some people. So if you have cards and you still can't tell after this video, you can DM me on Instagram and I'll see if I can look at them and let you know. But that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. It's no hiccup.